As is the case with most GMAT problems, there's a really quick way to solve this one without pen and paper. We can just glance at the answer choices and pick out the right one. So I'll start by showing you how to do that, and then if you're interested, I'll also show you the longer math-based approach to solving this question. So in order to solve it quickly, there's just one thing we need to understand, which is that when you have compounding interest, that is essentially a geometric sequence where you keep multiplying your starting point by the same factor over and over again. In this case, we have 8% compounding annually. So that means that whatever principal investment we had, whatever is that starting point, that amount that is accumulating interest, that number is going to get multiplied by a change factor of 1.08 over and over and over again. Every year it gets another factor and another factor and another factor. So if I leave my investment there for say five years, I would end up with my principal investment multiplied by 1.08 to the power of five. Now if we understand that, then reading the question where we're starting with an amount of x, that money is writing for the full two years, but then at the one year mark we're bringing in another x and that amount of money is only getting a factor of 1.08 once, I would expect the correct answer choice to have both a 1.08 and also a 1.08 squared in the denominator. The 1.08 will come from just that amount that was invested in the second year, and the 1.08 squared would come from the amount that was there the entire two years. There's only one answer choice that looks like that, and therefore I'm very confidently going to pick that and move on to the next question. So again, if you're curious about the math-based approach to solving this, stick around and I'll show that right after the intro. So as I start reading this problem, I see that I have X dollars invested at 8% compounded annually. And at first it's just the one year, right? We're just investing X dollars for one year. And if it's one year, then the fact that it's compounded annually doesn't actually matter because it hasn't had a chance to compound yet. So what would I have at the end of that year? And I'm not reading the whole question yet. I'm just pausing early on to make an inference. The inference is that at the end of that first year, I would have 1.08 times x. And now we're getting another x, so 1.08x plus x, and that whole thing is getting, again, a factor of 1.08 for year two. So if we look at that algebraically, we end up with 1.08 times parentheses, 1.08x plus x. Distributing the 1.08, you end up with 1.08 squared x, plus 1.08x, and if you divide w by all of that, you'll get the right answer. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.